Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another draft site tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, when, if you decide to make the move over to draft site, one of the first things you might want to do is make it feel a lot more cozier, a lot more like the world of AutoCAD that you're used to. Okay, at least that's one of the first things that I did. Now, it already feels a lot like the CAD program that you're used to using, right? It's got a very similar interface, and I did tell you that it does speak AutoCAD and that you can type in your favorite AutoCAD command at the command line, it's going to recognize it. Oh yeah, you don't need to know all of the draft site commands right off the right off the bat. Um, but there are a couple of things that you can do to make it feel right at home, even more so at home in the very beginning. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So first off, you might have noticed in my videos that in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, it says command, like the command prompt that I'm used to using in AutoCAD. But I put it back to the to the factory defaults and you'll see that it doesn't say that I just have a colon, which is fine. That's fine. But if you want it to feel just like the land of AutoCAD, you can switch it. Let me show you how. I'm going to go into options. Anyway, you're used to going into options. It works the same here in draft site. I'm going to do a right click. I'm going to go into options. And under here, you'll see it says system options under display. Look at command window text. Guess what I did? This is how I cheated. I put the word command so I would feel right at home in no time. Look at that. Oh, now I feel like I'm back in the land of AutoCAD. Am I right? And just so you know, I told it to really make the text big and bolded just so it's easier for you to see. Yours won't look like that. Don't worry about that in case you're going, why is her text so big? That's why. Okay, what else did I do? Now, I want you to notice right off the bat that my cursor is an arrow, right, with a pick box. Mm, I kind of like the crosshairs. If you like the crosshairs, you can easily switch that back as well. Let's go right back into options. <laughs> the same deal. I'm going to go to graphics area, and you'll see that there's an option display cursor as the crosshair. You can decide, you know, how big you want that pointer size to go. That's up to you. You may even want it all the way across the screen and make it really big. Um, that works for me. I'm going to say, okay. And now look, I have uh, my cursor. You can even make that all white if you want. I, right now it's set to green and red. I feel very Christmassy. That's the default. But if you want it to be all white, you can change that as well. All right. So far, so good. Hmm, what else might you want to change? I'm just gonna show you one other thing that's not in AutoCAD that you might want to change. I actually left it because I like it. But look what, what happens when, when you select any object on the screen. I want you to see that you get this kind of this toolbar, this heads up display that doesn't happen inside of AutoCAD, at least not quite like this. Now, I like it. I have the ability to do a few things, right? I can zoom to that object. I can change the line type. I can change the line weight. I can go right into the layer manager really quickly. I do like that. There's a few other things in here that are pretty darn awesome. I can take that object and I can move it to the current layer or I can change the current layer to whatever object, to the same layer as that object is on. I also like that, some handy little tips. And then it goes into some cool dimensioning tools, smart dimension, as well as I can very quickly turn that object into a block. Now, maybe you don't like that. Maybe you find that annoying, that little, that little toolbar that pops up on the screen. So let me show you how to get rid of it in case you don't like it. I know some people don't like it. I'm gonna go back into options. And I'm going to come down here to user preferences and you will see here under drafting options that there is this heads up display. Okay, it's called the heads up display and I'm going to turn that toolbar off. Even though when I'm done with this video, I'm going to turn it right back on. But I'm going to show you where it is in case it bugs you because it bugs some people. Doesn't bug me, I like it. But look, now when I, when I select an object, it's not there, it's gone. But I do have my crosshairs. I do have my command line in the lower left-hand corner of the screen where God intended it to go. So I feel much more at home. For those of you who like no change, I myself, not a big fan of change. <laughs> okay, so you can decide where you are on that spectrum, how much or how little you want to change. And uh, I hope that you got something out of that tip. I hope that you will take DraftSite for a spin. Don't listen to me. Try it for yourself. See if you like it. You can try it for free for 30 days. No credit card required. And I hope to see you back here for my next DraftSite tip. Have a great rest of the week.